everyone, I am Todd Robbins, and you know who you are. So let's get started, shall we? I've uh, been asked to come here today because I am a performer, I am a variety artist, and they've asked me to do a little bit of what I do uh, for you all. But in order to do that, I need to bring you all together as one. And this is not an easy thing, because there are two kinds of people in our world today. There are two kinds of people here today. They're all of you good-looking, you handsome, you pretty people. And then there are the rest of you. <laughs> you know who you are. So to bring you all together as one so we can have an amazing experience here in the next couple of minutes, I would like all of you good-looking, you handsome, you pretty people, to turn to an ugly person next to you. <laughs> Pat them on the back and say, there, there, it's not your fault. Go ahead, do that now. Reach out and touch someone if you would there. Reach out, yes. And, and sir, 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 you should not be patting anyone on the back. No. You're a little confused there, but confusion is halfway on the road to wonderment, and that's where we're going today. All right, now that I brought you all together, I got one more step before we get really started here. I got one of these things. I got one of these things, and I'm not afraid to use it. It's very, very simple what I need you to do, folks. I'm going to stand back here so everyone can get a good look at this. I'm just going to take and spin this. And what I want you to do is just keep your eyes on the spiral as it goes round and round. Don't look away. Keep your eyes on the spiral. Listen to my voice, but look nowhere else except at that disc going round and round. Look at the black. Look at the white. Round and round it goes, where it stops, nobody knows. Keep your eyes on the spiral. Relax your eyes, look at the center there. Just keep looking at the spiral, don't look away. Because in just a moment, I'm going to keep looking. In just a moment, I'm gonna count from 10 to one. And when I get to one, follow my instructions and something amazing is gonna happen for many of you. Keep your eyes on the spiral. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now look at my face. Uh, I look like a balloon in the friggin' Macy's parade, don't I? There we go. And now that you're all hypnotized, I'd like to talk to you about Scientology. <laughs> you know, we can cleanse your engrams. No, 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 no. I, I said I have come here to uh, give you a little sample of variety arts. And as a variety artist, I, I have to say it's very rewarding these days to see the resurgence of variety arts in the theater. Uh, you've heard some mentioned before. Uh, Les Soirées down at the Union Square, Queen of the Night at the resurrected Diamond Horseshoe, and of course, the wonderful revival of Pippin on Broadway. And the variety arts, whether it be circus skills, burlesque, sideshow skills, magic, all, all the other disciples, or, or I should say disciplines, that fall under the umbrella of the variety arts all have one thing in common, a secret ingredient, and that is joy. The variety arts is a celebration of the human spirit's uh, uh, ability, the human spirit's ability to overcome any challenges. And they leave an audience with uh, wonder and astonishment. And there's an underlying theme in the variety arts, which is that nothing is impossible. Uh, throughout the years, as Jim mentioned, I've done a number of shows based on the variety arts. The first one was about a decade ago. It was called Carnival Knowledge. And it was about my uh, time spent working in the sideshow. And I would glimpse the behind the scenes uh, glimpse into that world. And then more recently, uh, with Teller of Penn & Teller, we put together a show called Play Dead. That was an uh, evening of uh, ghost stories, uh, spooky magic, and quirky amusement. And uh, after a healthy run here in New York, we, well, we took it out to Los Angeles, and I just got back from an extended run there at the Geffen Playhouse. And I'm happy to say that uh, Play Dead is being adapted into a, a, a TV series. It'll have lots of nudity and sex, Blood, gore, nudity, sex, unholy resurrection of the dead, nudity, sex, 
and a few laughs. It'll basically be Breaking Bad meets True Blood. Uh, but that's uh, about theater and th those things, but, and that's kind of the past. What I'm working on right now is I'm working on a revival of a show that will reintroduce to a modern world the, uh, the wonderful comedian W.C. Fields. And I'm going to do this not with a biographical show, but instead by reviving the show that made him a star. In 1923, one of the great uh, hits of the day was a show called Poppy. It was a musical. And in it, W.C. Fields played for the first time a role that he was born to play. It was of a, a snake oil selling con artist by the name of Eustace McGargle. Professor Eustace McGargle. And it, it so fit him that he ended up playing the role several times in movies and on uh, radio, and he played variations of the theme for the rest of his career. It was sort of his default performing persona, and when we think of W.C. Fields, we kind of think of him as this beloved rogue character. For the revival, I will be playing the role of Eustace McGargle, and I've decided to try to get into the head of W.C. Fields and embrace his rhythm, his timing, and his cadence, and do basically a, a bit of a seance. And if I do this just right, uh, the audience will get a sense of the essence of the man uh, as he did the show. I shall bend every effort to do so, and I come from a long line of effort benders. And uh, I'm pleased to announce that we're going to be uh, mounting this at a um, prominent regional theater, get the kinks out of it, and then there's a lot of interest in bringing it to New York, and it's hopefully will bring Poppy back to New York some 90 years after it was seen here. Um, so that's that. But that's all in the ether. If you're like me, and I know I am, <laughs> the here and now is what's important. And what I'd like to do right now is I mentioned a little variety of arts for you here, but not just uh, performance, but I'd like to kind of deconstruct what the variety of arts are all about by doing a little piece here and show you what goes into it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring four gentlemen up from the audience here on stage and perform an amazing magic trick. I'm going to transform them right before your eyes into world-class entertainers. And uh, to do this, I'm going to have to come down among you here. If I could have the house lights up, please, and as I look into your faces, and some of your faces need looking into. <laughs> Let's come down here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 how about the gentleman right here? Come on up here, come on up here if you would there. Yeah, just go up on the stage there. And now oh, you're sitting with beautiful women. You've had it too good for too long. Why don't you come on up here? And uh, I should... Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the guy right there is hoping I'm talking to someone else. Yeah, 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 come on, come on up here, come on up here. And, uh, and you, you, you seem to be enjoying yourself and not doing anything, so come on up here if you would. Yeah, and try to get to the stage before the applause dies down for these four brave men. Come on up here if you would. Thank you very much. Come on up here, there you go, good, 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 good. And just, just line up under the lights like you've done for the police. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on here. There you go. You're, you're, you're doing careful. There you go. So be careful. You slip and fall, you end up owning this place, and then you'd really be screwed. So um, anyway, as I was saying, I appreciate you guys coming up here. And you folks should appreciate it even more, because this could have been you. So another round of applause for these four brave men. Because in just a moment, these four brave individuals are going to perform for your entertainment the anti-gravity, death-defying human pretzel. Ooh. As a matter of fact, that's what I'd like you all to do. Every time you hear the name of this amazing feat, the anti-gravity, death-defying human pretzel, I'd like you all to go, Ooh. Oh, you're good. Now, gentlemen, you got to understand a little something about this business we call show. If you don't add a little pizzazz, a little huzzah to what you do, you're not going to get the applause that you so richly deserve when you perform for these folks, the anti-gravity, death-defying human pretzel. <sighs> you're surprisingly good. Now, the first thing you're going to learn is the last thing you're going to do, which is a show business bow. And I'm not talking about bowing like that. That's kind of hackneyed, a little too old school. Instead, what I want you to do is I want you to take a bow like a matador. That's the image I want you to keep in your mind. What you're going to do is you're going to be standing there chilling like you're doing right now, and then I'm going to say, take a bow. And when I say that, you're going to turn out like this, put your hand on your hip like this, throw the other hand up and go, hey. <laughs> and that's the time. It's take a bow. Hey. So try it now if you would. Take a bow. That was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the, the time was off. You were very early, sir, and I'm sure you've had that problem before. But anyway, <laughs> moving, 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so rude when you were being so friendly in the men's room earlier. But anyway, I, um, I, I digress. I, this is gone downhill quickly. There you go. Uh, no, no. Uh, the, the, the fact is you had all the pieces there, but the timing was a little, little wonky there because it's the first time you gave it a try, I must admit. And because of that, it was a little hesitant. It was a little like, hey, guys, wait up. <laughs> so we're going to clean up the timing. And when we do, I want you to get behind it. I want you to put some fire in it. I want you to put some life in it. Or as they say in New Jersey, con gajones, por favor. So very simply, the timing is take a bow. Hey, so try it again if you would. Take a bow. Hey. hey. Yeah, yeah, well done. You can relax, baby, that is. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I want you to do. Every time you, you see them take a bow, just show them your love. Yeah, let out that applause, because it just festers if you hold it in. So, now that you got the bow, now we're gonna add a little mystery to the act with a show business name. So from here on in, these are not just four strangers that have come together to do the anti-gravity, death-defying human pretzel. Oh, let's all be friends on Facebook. <laughs> But I give you, and get ready, you're going to take a bow. I give you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and that guy there. I give you the flying Ebola brothers. Take a bow. Hey. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. The flying Ebola brothers. You like that? No, I thought of myself. It's, it's infectious. So, so it's just like comedy. So here they all are, international stars, each and every one of them. We got Sergey, Dmitri, Vladimir, and Irving. So now that you got the name, now that you got the bow, now for the skill itself. And for this, I'm going to have to set up some very sophisticated pieces of circus equipment here. So if you would, the four of you kind of just cluster down over there, if you would there. Just cluster down over there as I set up the equipment here. And I don't have music for this, so if you'd like to hum some of your favorite tunes, you can go right ahead there. And there we go. This goes here. That goes there. This is good. Okay, and then one goes over here, and over there, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. you can feel the feng shui. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. All right, now, uh, good. Uh, we've got all the equipment here. We're all ready. Just very simply, follow my instructions. Something amazing is going to happen. We're going to start with you, my friend. What I want you to do is come over here, and you're going to sit down sideways on the chair, just like that. Keep your feet flat on the ground. Can you do that? There you go. Sit a little bit more forward, if you would. Yeah, good, and keep your knees together. It's not that kind of a stunt. There you go. You're next, my friend. You're going to sit down here facing this way. Turn around there. There you go. Good, good, good. Sit a little bit more uh, this way. A little towards the front. There you go. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little more. Good, good, good. And here, you're next, my friend. You're going to come over here. You're going to sit down here facing this way. There you go. Good, 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 good. That, that's good. And last but oh, a self-starter. I like that, yes. And if you do this well, next we'll do the hokey pokey. So sit on down there. You're terribly eager, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sit this way, okay? Keep your feet flat on the ground and cross your arms across your chest. Cross your arms across your chest. Keep your feet flat on the ground. Keep your feet flat on the ground as you lean back like this. You're going to lean back like this. You're going to make some new friends today. There you, go. there you go. And you really are eager, aren't you? Look at that. The doctor will be with you in just a moment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and that guy there, I give you the anti-gravity, death-defying human pretzel. Make me moist. All right, let's do it here. Uh, keep your feet flat on the ground. Lift your butt, arch your back. Lift your butt, arch your back. That's one. Here we go over here. Lift your butt, arch your back. Lift your butt, arch your back. That's two. Lift your butt, arch your back. Lift your butt, arch your back. That's three. And last but not least, lift your butt, arch your back. Lift your butt, arch your back. That's four. <laughs> Take a bow. No, 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 no. Now, gentlemen, I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The good news is everyone here loved this. The bad news is I don't know how to get you out of that. <laughs> but I think it'll kind of take care of itself if you just do a crunch, if you feel a burn in the abs, if you just do a sit-up, pretend like you know what I'm talking about, and <laughs> just sit up, so just bend at the waist, slowly sit up, slowly sit up, slowly sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. There you go. Well done. Stand up for a bow. Stand up. You did a great job. Stand up for a bow. You did a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you the farewell appearance of the flying Ebola brothers. Take a bow. Thanks. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you call that applause. These are the flying Ebola brothers. 
These are the Flying Ebola Brothers, and once again, my name is Todd Robbins. Thank you so much, folks. Thank you. Thank you.